multiply 1 and 3 sevenths times negative 9 and 4 fifths. So the first step is to turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So here's how you do it. We take 7 times 1, which is 7. And then we add the top number, so plus 3, and that's equal to 10. Again, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. And that number goes up top, and then you keep the bottom number. Again, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 3 is 10. That number goes up top, and then you keep the bottom number. There's really a times here. I'm going to go ahead and put it, so times. 5 times 9 is 45. Just ignore the negative. And then you add the 4, so you get 49. Again, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 4 is 49. That number goes up top, and then you keep the 5 on the bottom. And now we need to try to simplify. Remember, the numbers in the top are allowed to cancel with the numbers on the bottom. So it looks like the 10 and the 5 can be reduced. 5 goes into 5 one time. So you can put a line through it and put a 1 here. And then 5 goes into 10 two times, so we can put a line through it and put a 2 here. And then the 7 and the 49 can also be reduced. 7 goes into 7 one time, so you put a line through it, put a 1 here. And then 7 goes into 49 seven times, put a line through it, and I'll put the 7 over here. And now we can just multiply straight across. 2 times 7 is equal to 14 over, and then 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 14 over 1 is equal to 14. And that would be the final answer. Kind of a fun problem <laughs> that we get uh, such a nice answer. It's totally rigged. I did not expect it to be you know, a whole number. <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.